Hi, I'm Joe with Algo Cleanup, and today we're going to be talking about Folks Finance. Folks Finance has had a lot of developments in the throughout the Algorand ecosystem, and today we're going to be exploring some of those recent developments, as well as discussing different strategies to leverage your liquid governance. Liquid governance was extremely valuable to Algorand's total value lock last period and enabled users to tap the liquidity from their committed governance algos. This period, governance period five, holds even more potential and more rewards for those participating in Algorand's DeFi space. So let's jump right in. To begin this video, I wanted to discuss some of the recent changes to Algorand's governance system. So in the previous period, period four, the governors voted in favor of measure A, which allowed for an allocation of the reward pool, that 70.5 million algos that's distributed to all governors that vote and keep their commitment above their wallet balance. They allocated 7 million of those algos quarterly to DeFi, to Algorand's uh, DeFi ecosystem. That's around 10%. And so when you go to the governance page, you'll see the message that um, is discussing this. Uh, you can see the 7 million algos that will be allocated to the DeFi governors this period. And there are a couple different ways that this money is going to be allocated. Some of that money will be um, given as rewards to those that commit their liquidity pool tokens, um, but some are already being allocated to the um, DeFi ecosystem directly. So folks finance has already alluded to they will be able to provide a higher reward for those that mint uh, Gialgo. So basically use their liquidity governance program, we'll see more rewards. So this is a really exciting time, um, but we just need to have that as a foundational layer before we jump into this because our strategy is going to build upon that uh, premise. So here we are in the folks finance um, protocol. You can see that we're just on the markets tab. And to begin this process, I have been using folks finance from the previous period. So you are going to see some steps on how to actually burn Gialgo and then how we're going to take that algo and then mint it for governance period five. So let's head over to the algo liquid governance area. You can see that I'm currently on period five, which makes sense, but I do have some uh, rewards and I, I committed 2,500 algos in the previous period. So what I'm going to do is I am going to burn some of my Gialgo. I'm going to burn the full amount. So I have 12,000. And so I'm going to burn the full amount. And you can see here there's a pre-mint button. This would just essentially take all this Gialgo from the previous period, um, turn it into Algo, and then remint it for period five. I'm not going to select the pre-mint button. I'm just going to burn my Gialgo because I feel like some will have questions about this, especially if you uh, participated in the previous period. I'm gonna click continue, I'm gonna click burn. It's just like any other transaction, it's very straightforward. Continue, I burn those 12,500 um, G algo and I'm going to receive algo in return. So you can see my wallet balance of 19,500. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna come over to period five and I am going to pre-mint. Uh, we can already see that there are um, 841 governors committed for this period, and we have over 2 million algos already uh, committed. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-mint 10,000 algo. And then right after we pre-mint these, we're going to receive G-algo in return. So again, this is essentially acting as a commitment to governance period five. And what's beautiful is I don't need to necessarily vote, even though I love to vote, and there are um, the ability to vote on Algorand's proposed measures as well as folks finances provo proposed measures, which is really exciting. So you can see that I've received the 10,000 Gialgo. All right, so you saw me previously burn my um, Gialgos from governance period four, received Algos, and then was able to commit 10,000 Algos for this next period. Um, and I have these Gialgo pre-minted. So these are the amount of Gialgos um, I have pre-minted. Um, that I will see in my wallet as soon as the burning period ends, which is October 7th. So um, I just have this balance that eventually will come to me, but I still want to proceed and show you some of the different um, ways that you can actually use Gialgo throughout the ecosystem. Um, so we're just going to jump right in and continue. All right, so we're going to hop over to the deposit section. Um, again, 
since I pre-minted the Gialgo on October 7th, I will receive those, but the same premise will still apply. What I fully intend on doing is committing uh, the majority of my Gialgo. So in my wallet, I have 90 right now, and I'm just gonna take you through the process. So I can deposit that 90 Gialgo. It's a simple transaction. And perfect, we have 90 now, which we can then borrow against. So I can come over here and what I'll do is I'll actually borrow some um, algo and I'll use G algo as my collateral. And so you can see I can borrow up to around 80% um, because I committed that 90. So if I click continue, I can borrow and you will see that I'm able to use G algo as collateral to borrow all goes back. And since they're at a one-to-one -one ratio, uh, the price shall stay fairly consistent. So uh, liquidity or being liquidated isn't nearly as uh, much of a concern for doing this pair. So you're able to deposit your Gialgo and then borrow algos against it. Um, and I have a few other additional um, elements that we're gonna show, but that's, that's the basic premise of folks finance is being able to deposit assets and then borrow against those assets. Um, another element I wanted to show was the farm deposit. So if we come over here, what we can actually do is if we wanted to, we could go ahead and deposit, let's say we'll do 50 algo. We'll deposit those, which again, could be used as collateral. And after they deposit, we can then go farm that deposit. So we put it in here as collateral, but what we can actually do is then go and stake it which we can then earn a weekly reward that is paid out by folks finance. Um, and you can see the APR is really good, 4.45. Um, so that's another element that they offer, the ability to actually stake uh, the collateral that you have deposited um, and borrow. And then as you pay back your borrowed amount, you will receive another ASA that you can then um, stake to earn additional rewards. So you can see I have a few outstanding ones um, nine days out of the 14 day lock period, but there is an instant um, return as well. So a lot of great features to explore on folks finance. Um, I really recommend um, looking around and getting familiar because it is a very powerful um, DeFi tool of the Algorand ecosystem. All right, so I have my Gialgo pre-minted and we've already gone over some of the different features of folks finance from the deposit to borrow, the farm deposit and the rewards aggregator. Um, so next I'm going to show you what I plan to do once I receive the 10,000 Gialgo uh, pre-minted um, that I have. But I want to briefly discuss Gialgo has done a great job of making partnerships, folks finance, making partnerships throughout the Algorand ecosystem. From GameFi, working with Zone to create specific pools for uh, the games on Zone, um, and we'll look at those being able to use your LP tokens provided by multiple DEXs as a collateral to lend and borrow against, um, partnerships with DEXs to boost rewards, um, as well as NFT marketplaces. So we're gonna dive into all these different um, areas of the uh, Gialgo ecosystem, but what we're gonna focus on is how to earn the best yield for governance period five. So what I plan on doing is leveraging LP tokens. So I committed my algos to governance period five, received G algo in return. And then what I plan to do is Tinyman and PacFi, I plan on providing um, liquidity and using those LP tokens to commit algos through um, Algorand standard uh, governance uh, protocol. So what I first intend on doing is creating, um, adding assets to the USDC and um, ALGO pool. So you can see there's a bonus reward all the way up till December 1st. So they're offering a fixed APR um, and that uh, APR is around 10% right now. So what we're going to do is we're gonna come over to the pool tab, we're gonna manage, we're gonna actually add a bit more. So I'm gonna add about $200, uh, confirm the supply. Let's add this liquidity to the pool and take those LP tokens. Um, and this is all gonna come together. So we're earning APR um, 
from actually staking these, farming these LP tokens out, and we earn rewards by just holding these LP tokens from the fees generated from the DEX as users um, swap their assets back and forth. So we're already earning a very good return just by doing this one simple step. Um, and I also plan on increasing these amounts once I have access to the Gialgo uh, liquidity. I'm going to come over to the manage portion. I'm gonna update my commitment. I'm gonna confirm my stake. And the reason I'm focusing on Tiny Man and Pact is to stake these LP tokens, they don't actually leave your wallet. So you do need to keep your um, committed balance. You know, if you fall below, or move any of it uh, before the period ends, you won't receive any rewards for that, that cycle. And it cycles daily. And again, it's going to last until December 1st. So a majority of governance period five, this staking pool will be operating. So already have a very good return there. Next, we're gonna come over to um, PacFi. We're also going to commit to the USDC and Algo uh, pool. I'm going to do a hundred dollars going to confirm that supply. And you can see these transactions are really quick. We're being able, we're able to move around the ecosystem. Um, so now that I have these LP tokens, um, they're already receiving a boost. So they're around 16%. Um, so, both good returns on PacFi and Tiny Man. I also fully intend on adding to the Gialgo Algo pool. And so you can see they're at that one-to-one -one ratio. I only have 10 Gialgo in my wallet right now, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and confirm that. We're gonna sign these because I just wanna take you through the entire ecosystem um, and show you all the different pools that I fully intend to um, commit to, but I plan on committing to it from my Gialgo um, that's being used as collateral. It's just in the pre-mint state right now. All right, so now that I have LP tokens from Pact and Tiny Man, and again, I'm going to increase these amounts once I have access to the Gialgo that I've pre-minted, um, I'm gonna go ahead and connect a wallet, and we're gonna go ahead and actually do the new governance program. So we're gonna actually see what it's like to actually commit LP tokens. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to say, let's commit 100 algos for this experiment. And then I also have the USDC algo pool that I just um, committed to. So we saw that I was staking those and those didn't leave my wallet, which allows me to actually use those as a, uh, an asset that I can commit to governance. The next one that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to Pact Fi and I'm gonna go find that USDC algo. We saw that I had this pool as well. So again, just like your algo balance that you commit in previous governance periods, you're not allowed to fall below these LP tokens. So once you commit your LP tokens, uh, hang on to them for that three month period. But again, this is a great way to develop the Algorand ecosystem, ensure that there's ample liquidity, increase our total value lock. So there's a lot of benefits, but you can see the platform is seamless. Um, and I'm gonna focus on the three pools that I previously mentioned, which were the packed Algo and G Algo and the uh, USDC Algo pools for Tiny Man and for Pact. Governance Algo, G Algo, perfect. We'll do the max. And so then let's say, let's make this commitment. I'll confirm it on my Para app. Perfect. We committed 985 Algos, 100 Algos, 885 Algos in equivalent LP tokens. So you can see this can be a very lucrative process. I haven't even tapped into the uh, pre-minted Gialgos and um, I fully intend on adding more to these pools specifically because there's a staking portion to it. So you're earning more rewards directly from Tiny Man, more rewards directly from Pact with these two pools in particular, uh, the USDC Algo one and the Gialgo Algo one. So as we commit for that period five, we can then take those liquidity pool tokens and also stake them for a portion of that 7 million algos um, rewards. So it's going to be a very lucrative period. I really encourage everyone to explore the different ecosystems. So that is the best strategy to earn the highest yield for this period. Next, let's go ahead and discuss how Gialgo can be used throughout the 
NFT marketplace and the Algorand ecosystem. So I'm going to specifically focus on the folksy guys uh, NFT project. This is a project that the folks finance team um, put together. It launched last period and it, and it coincides with the governance periods, but it was a really fun project. Um, I actually participated. It was a treasure hunt where they gave five clues and you need to have the folksy guys that are holding the object from the clue um, in your wallet to win the reward. Um, and I did win the reward. It was a lot of fun uh, with their shuffles. So there's no live shuffle right now. It's sold out, but they gave you the ability to actually purchase your NFTs with Gialgo, um, which is just awesome because if you commit your algos through the uh, liquidity governance, you're already hurt, earning a higher yield. And then if you don't want to borrow against them, there's a lot of utility just built into the ASA directly. So you are able to actually buy folksy guys directly with Gialgo, which is just an amazing partnership. Again, I just love how um, involved they are throughout the ecosystem. Well, speaking of Algorand NFTs, I have to give a special shout out to FIFA Collect, um, who recently just launched their NFT collection on Algorand. Um, and again, how we can leverage folks finance is if we were to take the uh, Gialgo that we um, minted, we could then deposit it as collateral and we could then borrow some USDCA and actually purchase some of these FIFA Collect packs. So I'm gonna do so right now. So let's go ahead and click buy now. You can see USDCA, a way to purchase. And so you just need to connect your Algorand wallet and we can click purchase with Algorand. We'll accept it and we can open the pack. But again, this is FIFA directly, the organization. Um, they built their NFT package there. They launched their NFT on Algorand and you can see it's a very slick website. There's a 3D model. Let's go ahead and open this pack and let's see what we received. So they're transferring the assets to my wallet. So perfect, I won a Spain Genesis drop. I won an Epic, um, I won a Common, and I won another Epic. So that's not very typical <laughs> to get two Epics in one pack, but um, that's fantastic. Um, but it's a great project. You can see it was seamless. It's super easy to use. Um, and so it's just a lot of fun. You can share these special moments and it's just the beginning. You can tell with the Genesis drop, there's gonna be much more to come, especially with the World Cup coming up. So the last portion of the Gialgo ecosystem that I wanted to spend some time talking about was the GameFi portion um, and Gialgo's uh, partnership with Zone. So Zone is a really fun, um, easy to use uh, GameFi uh, platform uh, where you can just play uh, simple little games and you can actually earn rewards. So you can see even right there, uh, folks finance game farms are live now and so you can see with these different games they're really simple they only last three minutes there's only an, a certain amount of time that the games um, are able to be played and then once you um, play them you have a chance to win so the zone top gun games are individual um, scoring so if you score in the top 100 you can earn some rewards and then the zone battleground are uh, games that you can play and you're randomly put on a team um, and then if your team wins, you earn a little reward. So you can earn a portion of the, the prize pool between all your teammates. It's a lot of fun. These are just really simple games. Um, you can see here, this is what a folks game farm looks like. You can see the prize pool. You can see that um, some of them will be exclusive to those that hold the specific NFT. Um, so it's just, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Um, here is just a quick sample of what the games look like. So we've discussed a lot in this video. We've discussed a lot of different ways to use Gialgo and how Gialgo is instrumental to uh, Algorand's total value lock and to uh, DeFi in general and just how it's leveraged in so many different ways. So it's so exciting uh, to be a part of the Algorand ecosystem right now, even in this bear market. Uh, there's just lots of buzz, lots of going on, uh, lots going on. And I just have to commend uh, folks finance um, and everything that they're doing from their NFT project to the tools they provide, they really listen to the community and they just provide a tremendous value to the Algorand uh, blockchain and ecosystem.